Last week, the Prime Minister praised the Pacifica community for their efforts in the fight against COVID-19. One organisation who have played a big role in those efforts are the Fono. They've been working closely with the community, mobile testing, contact tracing, providing food packages and offering mental health and wellbeing support. The Fono are a team of people who are devoted to their work and truly care for their community. And joining us now to talk about their admirable responses, CEO Tavita Funaki. Morena Tavita. Uh, Morena, Jenny, uh, and Malo Lili. Malo, Malo Lili. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, if, well, you, you know, I mean, you've been doing this community stuff since way back when, um, but COVID has meant your services are even more important and critical in the response. So tell us the really important work that you've been doing within the community over the last several weeks. Um, so part of the uh, of response, obviously, the Pacific are hitting hard in this time round. Uh, there's a there's a level of you know there's increasing level of hardship. So mm. a lot of our welfare support uh, directly to our families, but in particular those that have been to the positive cases and those that are in close contact, those that are actually in isolation, both at the uh, managed facilities and also at home. Um, and then we also provide some of the support around the contact tracing of those that are uh, difficult to be located so that they can also be supported. And again, the focus around testing, you know, increasing the testing around Pacific. So we've got mobile testing clinics that were going all over, deployed all over the place uh, in the border testing beginning with and now closer to community and schools. Um, and then we also have um, some of the CPEC um, stations, again, driving testing as well. So your team has been working really, really hard, and I, and I want to talk about them um, shortly, but I do want to talk about the cultural-specific um, approaches that we have actually been talking about throughout this week. The need to have a Pacific voice at the forefront of this outbreak and the fight against it. Now, you're on the front line, dealing with Fano every day. Talk to us about your experiences and why it's important to have Pacifica-led approach at a time of high anxiety. One of the key things that has come quite clear this time around, Jenny, is the fact that your ability to, to speak in the first language, mm. um, your ability to communicate with these families in their own mother tongue, whether it's Samoan tongue and Tuvalu and Tokelau, it's very, very important. But also the understand, understanding of the dynamics and the cultural uh, appropriateness of culture within Pacific families. Um, so, you know, when you turn up to some of these homes, uh, there's level of anxiety mm. uh, around in there. But having a familiar face with a film, familiar lingo, um, you know, help ease the, you know, the conversation and actually getting them tested or getting the support in there. So how have the how so how have the community and Fano responded to you and your team? Oh, they've been fantastic. I think uh, not only the community and the families are reaching out, but also our community leaders and our church leaders has really come together. Uh, collectively is, is, is specific. So um, I think our families, uh, they're, they're, just, they're really appreciative of the, the work that the team is actually doing. Uh, they're grateful for whether it's testing or a food parcel. Um, you know, for the ones that are in managed isolation, they are tailor-made uh, specific to the needs of their mm -hmm. family. Uh, and working closer with the Final Water Commissioning Agency and Ministry of Social Development around that together with ARB. So, uh, and so there's a, a big collective stuff. But in terms of the response of the community, uh, whether it's testing or support, they are reaching out for it and they're really welcome. Mm. Your team has been working hard and long hours. How proud of you are you of them? Oh, um, you know, they are our biggest asset eh? um, as an organisation, as our people. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, extremely proud of the work. Uh, we've got a team uh, that is committed to our ethos of caring as our culture. Uh, we know that it's a call of duty uh, this time round because our community are hitting hard. So people are just stepping up, uh, you know, they, they put in the hours, uh, team are working more closer together. Um, so and, and the effort, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of aloha, uh, a lot of caring in there, so I'm extremely proud of them.